back, everybody. I hope you all had a good weekend. We're going to be touching on a few important things today, one of which is this cannibal CME deal or coronal mass ejection, which we talk about all the time on this channel. And we just had one of these situations take place. And we talked about how the energy coming off the sun doesn't always have to be directly lined up with Earth. We can actually run into this energy as we did just a few days ago. But now the situation's a little different. We have an incoming set of sunspots that are becoming magnetically dangerous, no different than the ones we just dealt with. All right, so first things first, what is a cannibal CME and how does it affect the Earth and us? So in a nutshell, the definition is this. If multiple CMEs are expelled in succession, faster bursts can overtake and assimilate slower ones in front to create what scientists call cannibal CMEs. So looking at this chart, you could see two CMEs leaving the sun and the second of which overtaking the first before it hits that green dot, which is Earth. So now think about that situation. Not only do we have the power of one CME hitting Earth, but then we have a secondary one that will sometimes erupt behind the initial blast and actually be stronger than the first and overtake that leading blast, causing a much more harsh effect on Earth when it hits the magnetic field. Now, these CMEs affect many things, but when they're multiplied like this, naturally the effects are greater. You can see that by looking at the number of reported earthquakes over the last two days, which is just completely through the roof. I don't think many people realize that we just went through this situation and we ended up pretty lucky in the end. Hindsight's always 2020, but listen to this. Cannibal solar storm cloud warning as scientists predict radio blackout. This was just posted on February 13th, and this had to do with that previous solar eruption or solar eruptions we spoke about. And the reason this is being brought up again is because as I stated we're dealing with another situation where multiple sunspots are now making their way towards earth facing putting themselves in a position to where if they erupt more than once we could be seeing yet again another cannibal CME situation and when those particles hit earth at over 500 kilometers per second that is why we are constantly talking about the physical effects people feel when these things happen headaches feeling very sluggish sleep issues people are always commenting to me that they're having internet issues issues or their cell phones aren't working. A lot of weird things happen when solar weather is high. And I think it's important to at least have a basic understanding of why this happens. And a lot of that is just simply knowing the terms. When you hear something like cannibal CME, most people think that it's some exaggerated term when really it's a studied and proven phenomena that we are still learning about today. As of the posting of this video, space weather sites like spaceweather.com have updates as follows. Big sunspot alert, a big new sunspot, AR3590 is the emerging from the far side of the sun. NASA's Solar Dynamic Observatory can see it rotating over the sun's northeastern limb. The sunspot's planet-sized dark cores are inset in this magnetic map of the sun's surface. So finally, just a detailed look at these sunspots and how massive they are. It's just unbelievable how much energy these things can put out. The last thing we need is something like the Carrington event, which I'm sure many of you know about. But in short, the Carrington event was the most intense geomagnetic storm in recorded history. From the 1st to the 2nd of September, in 1859 during solar cycle 10. Not only did this create strong auroras, but it caused fires and sparking over multiple telegraph stations. If this situation were to happen today, it would be completely devastating to the entire world. So as I said earlier, it's important to know about this stuff. So in conclusion, my friends, stay up to date and keep posted on all of this information. I will have updates on the Instagram and X pages. Please check those out and thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Shout out to Canada and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.